Good evening, folks, and welcome once again to our study time and devotional time and prayer time. The topic for today is committing to your spouse and your family. Let's bow our heads before we get into our little devotional thought for the day. Father in heaven, we ask that you will bless us this evening as we spend a few moments uh, just contemplating a few thoughts on uh, committing to family, committing to spouse and what that means and how we can best have that work in our life. I ask, Lord, that uh, you would just send your Holy Spirit to guide and direct each one of us and draw us closer to your throne of grace. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Ephesians 5, 22, 25 and Ephesians 6, 1 and 4 have this to say, Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. Children, obey your parents for this is right. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in discipline and instruction of the Lord. Adventist Home, page 179, says the cause of division and discord in families and in the church is separation from Jesus. So the cause of disharmony and discord in family units, in church units, is disconnection from our Heavenly Father. Come near to Christ is to come near to Christ is to come near to one another. The secret of true unity in the church and in the family is not diplomacy, not management, not a superhuman effort to overcome difficulties, though there will be much of this to do, but it is union with Christ, union with Jesus. When we are aligned with our Heavenly Father, we can't help but have more positive and better relationships with one another. We have some thoughts and some heart questions this evening. Your spouse and family are people in your life towards whom you have a solemn duty to love, support, and discipline them into a joyful, loving relationship with Jesus. Will you commit to extending the same grace and forgiveness that Jesus has shown you as you deal with your spouse and your family? Is it your desire to be a spiritual leader in your home? Ask Jesus for a deeper walk and a closer union with him so that you can be a better reflection of Jesus to your spouse or to your family. We have some uh, prayer requests, some thoughts, and some things that the uh, World Division would like us to be praying for this evening in our prayer time. Pray for your spouse, children, parents, siblings, and extended family. Pray they will all come to know Jesus and pray that they will see Jesus in you. For the June 6 Marriage and Family Day of Prayer organized by the General Conference, we want to pray for this, that God will bless on this June 6 Sabbath, which is specially uh, organized for marriage and family. Also, pray for single people who feel very alone at this time. Pray for them to see the blessing of singleness as it relates to serving God. Pray that it is, if it is God's will, they will find a godly spouse. Pray for individuals who are struggling with addiction. Pray for a member in Trinidad whose daughter was killed two years ago and whose son was killed this past March. Pray for her to be comforted and also protected along with the rest of her family. Lord, there's so many things, brothers and sisters, that we need to be praying for locally and globally. But especially today, I want us to lift up our families. We know that domestic violence and abuse has gotten to be such a big thing. We need Jesus to be in the center of our homes, in the center of our lives, so that we can respond and relate to each thing the way that Jesus would. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, this evening as we are uh, thinking about the things we need to pray about and then praying for them, keep it ever present in our minds that our families, our loved ones, our interpersonal relationships with them are directly related to our relationship with our heavenly Father. Lord, fill us with your grace and your mercy. 
Send your spirit to reveal your character to us so that we in turn can reveal your character to those we love and those we come in contact with. I ask you to bless us now as we take this special time of prayer with our families and I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Blessings everyone, have a wonderful evening and we'll see you again tomorrow evening. Have a wonderful evening.